What you are watching now is a clock. When you are zoomed out, you'll see order and something very plain. But when you zoom in, you'll notice the chaos and the intricate detail it took to be able to make this. The chaos that is in order. With a clock that has thousands of individual cells, with each one looking as if it has a complexity only a brilliant mind can digest. But that's not the case. For one, it is not really a clock, only giving the illusion. I say that because without the ability to adjust to an individual's local time, it's an impressive animation. Sure, you could manually configure to each local time zone and every possible second of time, but it's improbable this will happen. But secondly, you don't need a masters in physics or maths to understand this. An individual cell is not complex at all. So long as you can keep adding one from zero to four, you'll be okay. Just to quickly summarize, a cell looks around in eight directions by a square grid that looks like this. One, a cell that is alive must have two or three cells to continue living. Two, a cell that is dead can be alive if there are exactly three cells surrounding it, as if by reproduction. Three, a cell dies when there are less than two cells around it, as if there are not enough mates to reproduce. And four, a cell dies when there are more than three cells around it, as if by overpopulation. This bleak universe is what is known as Conway's Game of Life, made by the British mathematician John Horton Conway. Just a part of the many of the cellular automation where you take a grid and fill it with a bunch of alive and dead cells and give it a set of rules it must abide by to survive. You can see me programming it with ease in the background. The most trouble I had was typing the wrong boolean statement, which I thought was equivalent to this statement. If you are not familiar with programming, then I can explain. A boolean statement has two outputs, true or false. My method looks in nine directions, but ignores one as I don't have to check the center. This symbol means does not equal, and so my statement x does not equal zero and y does not equal zero means that if x and y do not equal zero, then do a command. This looks like it works, but only checks the corners. Instead, what I wanted was this statement, which negates or reverses a statement from true to false and false to true. In English, this statement means that if x and y do not equal zero, then this will be false. But since this symbol reverses that statement, it becomes true. Wow, holy crap. I made that sound so much harder than it really is. Don't worry, if you want to make the Conway's Game of Life, I'll be uploading tutorial on how to program it. How do you know that you made the Game of Life and not something similar? Well, for one, there should be no explosive growth. Two, there should exist small initial patterns with chaotic, unpredictable outcomes. And three, there should be potential for a self-replicating machine, otherwise known as a von Neumann universal constructor. But you may be asking, why was this ever made and why is it important? Conway's Game of Life was made 50 years ago and its importance cannot be understated. To put it simply, the zero player game proved that even very simple rules can allow for the emergence of very complex behavior. And very often, the closer you look, the more you find. And there is a lot of patterns with different sets with each element having its own uniqueness. Such sets include still lives, Still lives don't replicate, nor do they die, or move, due to each living cell having either two or three alive cells around it. They are, what I like to think, eternal civilizations. Oscillators are similar to still lives, but they replicate and die, but remain in the same position. I like to think about those as new bastions of civilization that die due to starvation. And then there are spaceships, you have lightweights and heavyweights, and the ones in between. 
They replicate and die and move from cell to cell, usually destroying oscillators and still lives. I like to think of them as nomads, disturbing anything they touch. But that's not all. You can even make guns with a combination of the previously mentioned steel lives and oscillators to make gliders or spaceships which can trigger different events such as making a clock or making a really giant spaceship such as a Gemini with 5,120 cells vertically and 1,024 cells horizontally and replicating itself every 33 million 699,586 generations or turns. Just before I visually show you how grand and impressive the scale is, I'm going to mathematically show what your computer does. Let's do some rounded math. 5,000 times 1,000 is 5 million cells, and to replicate itself, it takes 33 million generations. 5 million multiplied by 33 million gives us 165 trillion cells that a computer had to process just for the spaceship. I'm going to be showing a video of the Gemini. Just remember that the small diagonal lines you'll see are gliders. And of course, link in the description. You may be thinking, but so what? I'm sure there are other examples that can prove complex structures with simple rules as well. And you are right, but the game of life can make a different set of complex structures from basic rules. Not only can it make a clock, it can also make a calculator, or even more astonishingly, can function like DNA with replicating functions containing information for its replication, deletion, its parents, and itself, just like the Gemini. In fact, the game of life is known as a Turing complete game, where given enough time and computer power can solve any problem, including problems from our own game of life, and maybe even beyond. If you have watched all of this video, I want to thank you very much. While I'm doing university, it is hard to make videos with all the coding, type editing, line recordings and video editing of my videos like this. And I appreciate your support with a like and subscribe. My current goal is to reach 100 subscribers and I'm very eager to reach it. Thank you guys very much and I'll talk to you in the next video.